looks like this. X minus H quantity squared over A squared. Just like Y equals MX plus B is the standard form of a linear equation, this is a standard form for an ellipse. The best way to um, go about understanding them is to actually do one. And there's, this is going to be fairly difficult, guys, so try to follow along as best you can. I am going to put a different color here for my ellipse. My, my, uh, my actual ellipse is going to be in purple. identify some characteristics of this thing and see what effect they have on my graph. A big part of graphing is transforming equations by moving them from one place to another. It's called translations. Y'all see how I'm subtracting 4 from x? I have to translate the x to make up for this. I also have to translate the y to make up for this. The, the best way to do it is to zero it out. We're going to zero these out. 4 negative 2 is going to zero it out. So that's where my vertex is, or excuse me, not my vertex, my center, is going to be at 4 negative 2. Now here's the thing. I want you to understand, I am putting this in another color on purpose. 4, negative 2 is like my new origin. It actually re-zeroes everything down. Is that worth it? Um, that's my center. Get both numbers. I'm sorry? How'd you get both numbers? Okay, this, this is the standard form right here. This is just the standard form, okay? It's like y equals mx plus b. This is a specific example that we're going to do. What value of x makes this squared part zero? What number do I put in here for x to make it zero? I need a positive 4 to make this zero. What do I need to make this zero? Negative 2. That's going to, re that's going to zero this thing out for me. And so my center is going to be at 4, negative 2. Now, I have an a squared in the denominator with these x's. Everybody see the a squared is 9 right here? That means that a is plus or minus 3. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go 3 each way in the x direction. So from my center, I'm going to go 3 forward and 3 back. I'm going to go to here because my a is plus or minus 3. I'm going to go 3 ahead and 3 behind. 1, 2, 3. What's the b value? Up or down? 4. Now what I'm looking for are points that make this equation true. And I'm going to show you why these four points work. And this, if you get this, it's going to make a lot of sense to you why I put my center right here. Check this out, guys. Does everyone see this point right here, what it is? It's at 1, 2, 3, 4, 2. Okay, watch this. I want to show you why 4, 2 works. If I put a 4 in here for x, doesn't it zero the whole thing? Yes. The 2, if I add it to 2, I get 4 squared is 16 over 16, which is 1. 
And the reason that it worked, and the reason that this works so well, is because the negative 2 zeroed it out, and if I went 4 above, it gave me the 4 right here. If I go down here, I'm at 4, negative 6, aren't I? Does everybody see that's going to give me a negative 4 in here? And it's going to get squared and give me the 16. And that's why this is 4 and this is negative 4, so that I get the 16 when I square them. The same thing happens when I go to these other two points. This point is 1, negative 2. Well, doesn't the negative 2 zero all this out for the y? And the 1 gives me a negative 3 squared, which cancels out my 9 and gives me a 1. Anyway, what I end up with is a curve that looks like this. All the points on this purple curve make this equation true. That blue point in the middle does not, is not part of the graph. It's the center, but it does not solve my equation. If I put, this, if I put the center in, I just get 0 equals 1, which is not true. So the center is not part of your graph. That's why it's not purple. So let's try one. Let's go with x plus 5. how far to go in the x direction, and how far do I go? Four. Plus or minus 4. And my b? Plus or minus 2. Now I want this curve. Good idea is to draw it one at a time. Yes. I'm sorry? Well, A is the square. See, this, this is the standard form is over A squared. And the standard form is over B squared. So to get the A and the B, you have to take square root. Because you're going to end up squaring that number, right? That I add or subtract from there. It's kind of tricky. Now, I have bad news 